guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks first things first if you are new here hey i'm glad that you stopped by my channel i hope that you take the time to subscribe and join our kinky crew family but y'all as you guys read by the title we are getting into the eden body works citrus fusion line oh citrus fusion line and we are going to do a little style so um i have here the hydrate and soothe butter and it is for hair and body and i also have the mousse and it's for nourish and style so you guys i have used both of these products before and i'm gonna show you guys just how much i've used it's been a little while since i've used them i will be honest um i usually don't like hair and body type of products this product i can't really say that i've really paid too much attention to it to be honest with you um i've tried i think i've done two wash and goes with this combination before and it has always turned out you know pretty decent but i feel like in the past year or so i really mastered my wash and go and this was definitely at least I don't know it's been some time since i've done this combination so today i'm gonna do a tweet out and i am gonna dust my ends so stay tuned for um the end where i'm gonna do that i think i'm gonna do it actually at the end of each twist um so for the mousse i am about halfway so i'm about here on the bottom but like i said i've used it for two wash and goes before so a wash and go with foam that's actually the only wash and go i've done with foam so yeah that's that so let's get into it i'm gonna section my hair and then we'll come in we will use the body butter i'll seal it in with the oil and we'll get into it guys i just wanted to come back really quickly and show you guys what my hair is looking like i did go ahead and um, use my sulfate shampoo on my hair so i did use the sleek and shine shampoo which I thoroughly enjoyed. And I did use the um, Eden Body Works conditioner that I went with this line. Um, there is a review. I'm not sure if I'll have it posted before this or not, but there is a review for it. So be on the lookout for that. If I already posted it, I of course will link it up above. And then y'all, I went in with the main choice peach black tea and y'all already know that I love that conditioner is a staple for me that's the first time i've said that on my channel but you guys know how much i love it it is a staple period i actually finished it today but i already have a backup which y'all know that it usually takes me some time to go through a 12 ounce container of deep conditioner especially because i just usually bounce around with my products but since i've been trying to be more consistent and use you know a couple products at a time and use them up I thoroughly enjoyed that and it's rare that I repurchase um anything just because I like to try new stuff but that is a must-have in my staple so that is what I'm starting out on so um we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it so the oil that I am using I finished my DIY oil mix and I need to get through some of my little oil collection so I'm gonna go ahead and start using the Camille Rose cocoa nibs and honey and it does have Brahmi and Amla oils and I think that this is gonna be a good one for winter time it's a little heavier so you know so I'm gonna go ahead apply this to my scalp y'all know that I like to oil my scalp all right you guys and if you are not new to my channel i go ahead and section my hair into quadrants but then to apply my leave-in conditioner i split each quadrant into half so that is what i'm doing now and we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the leave-in well it's a butter so let's go ahead and read the claims on here actually first so it says it is a dual purpose moisturizer to hydrate and soothe it leaves the hair and skin silky and smooth silky and soft i'm sorry so it says it's moisturizing lightweight and absorbent smooth onto skin or down the hair shaft and style hair as desired so some of the ingredients are water coconut oil vegetable oil aloe vera leaf juice um cetyl alcohol satyral alcohol and then it goes into avocado oil so the first I guess that was like seven or so ingredients looked pretty good to me 
So I'm gonna go in with about this much. And it, I don't know you guys, it feels, it's creamy in your hands. I don't know, it just feels like standard, you know, like conditioner. Actually forgot to apply some water, so I'm gonna go ahead and wet the section a little bit more. There's not like a whole bunch of slip. It does smell um, like the rest of the line, like the conditioner. It smells like citrus, obviously. Um, and I can't really say that it feels like much in my hair. Like I definitely feel the moisture going on, but it's not anything, you know, special or to write home about. So this is what my hair looks like just with the butter in my hair. And I mean, it looks okay. We've definitely seen better though. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a bit more oil. I don't know if you guys can see that, but a bit more oil um, to the section just to seal in any moisture. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this leave-in or this butter, I should say, all around my head. And then we'll be back to talk about the foam and to dust my ends. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to come back and show you guys this next section that I took. And it definitely looks more defined. This is just with the butter. I haven't added the oil or anything yet. But it definitely is very defined. My hair, I still feel the same way. Like, I don't really feel like it's any crazy amount of moisture. But, like, you can definitely feel the moisture. It's just not... Y'all know. Like, it's just not, like, the Camille Rose coconut water leave-in. Like, it's not it's not given staple to me. So what I can say is that the butter is 16 ounces. You guys know that Eden Body Works is inexpensive, but it gives a good amount of product, which we love to see, and it's black owned, which we stand. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to just applying this leave-in. Okay, you guys, so I'm back and I'm just removing the twist so that I can get ready to section my hair for the style and I wanted to share my thoughts. So as I apply the leave-in, like it really seemed to work better on my looser sections. Like this right here is the kinkiest section of my hair. And it, it I don't wanna say it feels dry, but like it doesn't feel as moisturized as I would like it to be. So that's unfortunate. Um, if I end up not liking this butter, I will probably just use it up as like a midweek moisturizer. Now, it doesn't happen often that I need to moisturize my hair midweek. But when I do, this would be the product that I go to. So, um, yeah, it just didn't seem to work out as good on the coarser parts of my hair so as you guys can see in the front which is obviously my looser part it has well it has sunk into my hair and you guys can see like this section right here is pretty coarse and it's still kind of sitting on top and it, even in this back section over here it's kind of just you know but we're gonna go with it we're gonna see what the moisture is like over time and i think it'll really help since i am doing this review so i'll be able to you know make like cohesive thoughts having a cohesive opinion so let me go ahead take the rest of these twists out and i'm gonna section my hair and we'll get into the mousse and how i dust my ends other thing i forgot to mention was that this didn't have any slip at all here's how much i use you guys can see where I was digging around and stuff. So it of course would take you a good hot minute to use up this butter. Um, as far as the hydrate and shine, um, my hair does feel sort of moisturized. Like it's definitely, it definitely could be more moisturized. And I find that like when I go to the sections of hair where I applied it first, like it's not very defined like you guys can see that it's frizzy um and even when i go to touch it it just doesn't feel like it's just not my favorite like it's not horrible it's just not y'all y'all know what i'm getting at so i don't know i'm gonna leave the butter open just in case i need to go back in as i go to different sections but let's get into the foam 
so here's the foam and since i am going to dust my ends i am going to go in with a detangling tool you guys usually don't see me do my hair with any tools but i am going to go in with my um tangle teaser i like the one with the paddle it just i don't know i i just like it better i'm gonna sp i did spray my hair with a bit of water just to give my hair a bit more slip and y'all know that i just like the style on wet hair so i run my fingers through before i go in with the tangle teaser just to make sure it's not um, pulling out any unnecessary hair and of course you start from the bottom and work your way up so that's what my hair is looking like just with the butter and i am just going to get some of that excess off the bottom and take it back to the top and I think for the style that we're going to do, we're going to do a tweed out today. I feel like, I don't know, I I want stretch roots and defined ends. So when you pump out the foam, it is a bit runny or it's a mousse. So a foam to me is, it does like that whipped cream sort of effect. Um, so this is definitely a mousse and when you rub it in, it looks like this. So I'm just going to go in with, I'm just going to do a pump because I don't want to put too much. So for a tweed out, I have a tutorial on my channel before that I will link above, but you just start at the top and you do a braid like you would, you know, a braid out or anything. And I go down maybe a third of the way of my hair shaft. Sometimes I go a little longer, but it just depends really on my mood. So I think I'll go about this far. And then you're gonna split your middle section in half. I like to have the longest piece in the middle, just so that you have that on both sides. And you know what, I think I'm gonna take a half a pump of foam and apply that i'll detangle first and i'll take a half a pump of foam actually no girl we're not doing no more foam see i just put too much product per usual but we're just going to twist all the way down and when we get down to the bottom i'm going to feel the ends of my hair and see where i need to trim but also your hair will tell on itself like it won't curl the same you can see that it gets a little thinner at the end so you can tell where your hair needs to be trimmed so here is the first tweed. And as you guys can see, it's definitely a braid up here. And then you can see it transition into a twist. So you guys can see this here. That's why it's really good for you to do that little twirly thing on the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off right here because I feel like that is the little dead piece. You can see it's not really curling. Like it's just kind of there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just snip that like a whole lot of hair i just like to get the ends i have been noticing that um my ends have a bit of splitting and just you know not what i need them to be so that's what the first one looks like and i think that looks a heck of a lot better now it is a couple different hair textures in this tweed um i have a little corner in the back of my nape where it is just a lot looser and similar to the front which i think that you guys have seen before so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys that one more time and then i'm gonna go and watch power while i do my hair let me know if you guys watch power too but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll probably come back and just show you guys what my hair is looking like and then i'll come back and let you guys know what the final result is Choose your fighter. Lady inspired. Fight. Fight. so i just removed those twists and my hair definitely doesn't look bad i just it's very very shrunken y'all like mm -mm. so i'm about to go stretch this out real quick i don't know what happened to my twist in the front but they're just not 
doing what I need them to do. So I'm about to go stretch this out and then I will be back. Okay, you guys, so I am back and extremely irritated. It took me, I, I y'all, I feel like it took me entirely too long to try and get this style to work out. So I am going to go ahead and consider it a fail, even though it doesn't look too bad right now. But y'all, it's literally been like 30 minutes. I stretched my hair. I tried to do a um, ponytail at the top and out in the back. That wasn't working. Um, so I landed on this style here and I just put two twists in the front and did some little edge craftsmanship. But this is what the final look looks like. Um, I will say that my hair does look shiny. My hair is moisturized for right now. I can't say that that moisture is going to last um, long. I don't think that this style, I might get maybe tomorrow or the next day out of this, but I don't. This will not last all week. So the foam for me is just okay. I mean, I'll use it up. Maybe I'll do a wash and go again and see how that worked out but this is just okay to me the end result is good but it took entirely too much for me to get here um the butter it's a butter i'll probably use that up as like a midweek re-moisturizing situation um but yeah i do like the end result but it took entirely too much for me it took entirely too much for me to um get this style so yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe definitely join our kinky crew fam because we have some giveaways coming when i hit 250 subscribers so i will see you guys next time stay safe wear your mask and i'll see you next time bye